Finish him! Ah! Ah! Finish him! Ah! 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 What's going on, you guys? The bronze bomber Deontay Wilder was spotted training in Las Vegas, Nevada. Looked like it was a UFC performance center. And it's been a while since we've seen the bronze bomber. It seemed like once the bronze bomber lost to Tyson Fury, it seemed like part of the heavyweight division also lost. I feel like part of the heavyweight division died. And if you think I'm lying, who else are you talking about right now as far as heavyweights? Whether you loved him or hate him, you was talking about the heavyweights. And now nobody's talking about heavyweights no more. But Deontay Wilder, they say he was looking to return later this year. October, November, I believe, right? Robert Hellanius, Andy Ruiz looking like he wants a shot. Derek Chisora wants a shot. A lot of the guys seem to be throwing their names now in the hat to face the Bronze Bomber. But prior to the Tyson Fury saga, Deontay Wilder really couldn't get these guys to fight him. They use a lot of excuses to be dismissive and avoid the Bronze Bomber. But they see Deontay Wilder as the money man. They see he's one of the guys that you got to fight to really make some money in the heavyweight division. It's dangerous, but you're going to get compensated for it. And the Bronze Bomber returning... Will fans be looking forward to see Deontay Wilder return? It seemed like a lot of boxing fans gained respect for Wilder in his performance against Tyson Fury, his last fight. It seemed like a lot of people gained respect for him because of the heart that he displayed in that fight. I mean, let's be honest. The Bronx Bomber was knocked out. I believe, I forgot what round it was now. It's been a while. But I believe since the fourth round on, it seemed like he was just knocked out. Like he was just on fighting spirit alone, right? It seemed like a lot of people gained respect for him after that, right? A lot of his biggest critics, a lot of his most notorious haters gained a newfound respect for the Bronze Bomber. But will that still carry over once he returns into the ring? Will people start hating on Deontay Wilder again? Look, man, love him or hate him, right? The dude brought that excitement that was missing from the heavyweight division. I don't know how many times I got to say it. Y'all was bored with the heavyweight division until the Bronze Bomber came on the scene. I don't care about no windmilling. I don't care about he can't fight. He was providing knockouts and pure excitement, pure violence. That's the Bronze Bomber style, violence. He don't even got a boxing style. It's called violence. And if you want to see some violence, you want to see some people get knocked out? Well, look no further than the Bronze Bomber. Of course, Tyson Fury is an anomaly. Um, he's probably one of the few people in the world that could withstand the Bronze Bomber. But I'm looking forward to seeing Deontay Wilder return. Will he be the same guy? Who knows? Got a lot of money now. Had a lot of time off. We got to see. Right? We got to see. But I'm looking forward to seeing him fight nonetheless. Whether it's against Robert Hellanius, um, Andy Ruiz. I doubt Derek Chisora gets the fight. Dillian White, he's faded off into obscurity. So we don't know where he's at. Of course, he may be looking at an AJ Usyk fight. Now, if AJ beats Usyk, then I think that fight could be revitalized. The fight that we was missing years ago. The fight that slipped past us. Hopefully, the Crawford Spence don't. But the Joshua Wilder did. But it could possibly be revisited if AJ beats Alexander Usyk, which is not a guarantee. But I think if AJ beats Usyk, and if Wilder is successful with his return... I think those two guys should be looking to fight in 2023. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, holla your boy. Peace out.